Hi, in today's video I want to show you how to draw a refrigerator cabinet, which isn't a lot different from drawing other cabinets, but it does have a couple little tricks to it, so I just wanted to show those to you. So we've got a kitchen here, and I want to draw a refrigerator cabinet over in this area. And it's going. this cabinet is going to butt into it. Um, so I want to draw that refrigerator cabinet. Let's, let's assume it's a uh, counter depth fridge. So it can be relatively, uh, a relatively less deep cabinet, but I still want it to come out to 26 inches on the floor. That way, uh, this cabinet is only 24 inches from the wall, and that way it'll butt into our fridge cabinet. And uh, even when the, re uh, the countertop butts into the fridge cabinet, there'll still be an inch um, to the front of the fridge cabinet. And uh, it needs to, if you see these uh, marks here from this style on the floor, that's where I need the uh, cabinet to start. So I need to transfer those marks out here to my 26 inch line. I'm going to use uh, a tool that is part of our, it's a construction line tool, and this is part of the construction tools, uh, if you view tool palettes, construction plus tools. And you can get that on our website, on the Cab Rider website. Our own Jose wrote a collection of, of tools. If you look over here on the, the toolbar here, the one we want is construction line. I just added that to my menu bar. And there's a few other tools here. But those are described on the website. But what this does, it allows me to just put a construction line and a construction point on the floor. And uh, so I, I was able to drag this out on the, you saw that it was on the red axis. So now I know that I'll be starting right where this cabinet ends. And I'm going to go work this direction. The other thing we need to do is go in and set some parameters. So we consider refrigerator cabinets. And actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to build it in this style here, with the face frame style. So I'm going to use this tool, Retrieve Cabinet Defaults. Um, so that just set all my defaults to be the same as this cabinet here. So face frame uh, style cabinet. And we consider refrigerator cabinets to be upper cabinets. So I'm going to go to the upper cabinet here. And my cabinet height, I'm, uh, my cabinet depth is 26 inches. And the height is a little trickier because we got to set a couple things up and figure this out first. So I want the, re the refrigerator 70 inches tall and 36 inches wide. So I want the, the, the lower rail of the upper cabinet to be, uh, the lower end, edge of that to be 71 inches off the floor to give a little clearance for the refrigerator. So I'm gonna just uh, take my tape tool, uh, this guy over here, the tape measure tool. And I'm gonna draw a line up the blue axis, so vertically 71 inches. And um, that means that my cabinet, the bottom of my upper part of the cabinet is going to start at 71 inches. And if I go over here and measure, I want it to end up at the same height as my upper cabinet. So if I go down to the floor and measure, the tops of my cabinets are 92 inches from the floor. That means if I'm starting at 71 inches in the air and I got to go up to 92, I have 21 more inches to, to go. So my upper cabinet is going to be 21 inches tall. So if I go over back in here to upper cabinets, I want to set my upper cabinet height as 21 inches. Now, I also need to know where my starting point is here along this line. So I'm going to use my construction line tool again. And I'm going to go from here straight up. And that gives me a point on that line. So now I can draw my cabinet. So now I just start with my story stick tool. I go over here, and that is going to be a right end sheet. The reason I want a sheet there is I just want a sheet of plywood because I have cabinets dying into it. 
I've got this cabinet here dying into it, and eventually I'll have an upper that dies into it. So I don't want a side panel. I want a um, sheet of plywood there. So now, uh, with the story stick tool, I need to put my other style in, but where do I put it? I want my opening to be 36 and a half inches. So if I hit the control key uh, twice, I get a D. The D is for distance. If I start here and drag along the line I want and type in a distance, 36.5 in this case, it ends up there. And then I put the style to the other side. And I want this to be a left end panel because this is a, a visible end. And now I can hit the command key or the end key. And the box type I'm selecting is a refrigerator upper, two doors, and say OK. And there we have a fridge cabinet. So you'll see uh, on this side, I have a, just a plywood sheet there. And over here on this side, it gave me a panel. Now, we don't have a lot of uh, configuration choices on the panel um, at this point, like drawing a mid a mid rail or anything. That uh, hopefully down the road will give more choices there. But I could manually um, make uh, parameter changes for this panel to uh, make the rails bigger and smaller and the styles bigger and smaller. Um, but I could also uh, manually uh, add a rail and, and use any SketchUp tools I needed to in order to, to do so. Um, so that can be uh, played with. But um, now this didn't end up drawing a uh, lower rail on the top of the refrigerator here. So I must have had a parameter not set for that. So I could go in and uh, on my face frame, uh, yes, the bottom rail is not being drawn, uh, but I can change that and can say right click on the cabinet, cab writer, redraw selected cabinets, do not use the stored defaults because I changed something in the defaults and it redrew uh, my cabinet with that lower rail. So other than that, this is just a, a regular old cabinet. Uh, the only thing uh, tricky to remember with this is you have to start the draw. Um, you have to start your story stick at the uh, the bottom of this upper part of the cabinet because it's considered an upper cabinet with just uh, sides that are extending to the floor essentially. And um, you draw from there and make sure that your height uh, works out so that it equals um, the uh, height that you want for the rest of the kitchen. And that's all there is to it. Thank you.